This is Motion Maker. Motion Maker is another tool that allows artists to do amazing things with just a little bit of work. It's now fully integrated in Maya, so anyone can use it. So I'm going to bring out another product expert so we can see what Motion Maker does. So Lance, welcome to, to the stage, Lance. Hi, Andrew. Thank you. All right. So what is Motion Maker? And what does it allow artists to do that they couldn't do before? Okay. Or that it was really hard for them to do before? Okay, all right, yeah. Uh, so I was an artist, I worked in production, I was at uh, DreamWorks and Pixar Animation Studios before I joined uh, you at Autodesk here. And uh, the creative process for artists is very tedious. Uh, some things are, are just so uh, slow. And for example, one animator typically produces about four seconds of animation in a week. So that, that's a very slow process, and so we're aiming to make it a lot faster and easier to do things like that. So uh, here we have Motion Maker. Um, let me show you. Uh, so this is Maya, um, and here is our cityscape set. So we're working on a film here. And uh, here's our main character of the film. Uh, this is a robot. Uh, his name is Andrew. Oh, how nice. It's just a coincidence. And so uh, the direction for this shot is uh, for robot Andrew to run screen right. So this is the beginning of a chase sequence, right? So uh, I'm just going to show you go how Andrew. this... Go, go Andrew. All right, so I'm just going to set a couple of keyframes in space. I'm going to hit generate, and the neural network takes over. And at this point, we should have some plausible, realistic human motion right out of the box. Andrew seems to run right through uh, gates. He does. All right, we'll, we'll now, fix that. This, this, this actually puts the motion in so that the artist would normally have to animate all of these keyframes and get right. the motion in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just right. with a couple of keys, uh, an animator can get a really complex set of motion. So what's happening here is Motion Maker was trained on a large set of human data. And it learns how we move. It's quite incredible, actually. Like, it knows when we swing our arms and how we shift our weights and when we walk from, you know, the transition from walk to run and, and so forth. So it can generate plausible, realistic human motion in a variety of contexts. So you mentioned the gate. So um, Motion Maker is designed to be fully editable. That's the name of the game for artists. Like, you want to be in control, you want to be able to art direct anything. So uh, let's go ahead and just art direct that. So, okay, he's, he's uh, running into that gate, as you observed, and the director's giving me some other feedback. He said, hey, you know, what I really would like is for that character to just kind of disappear around the corner. So um, let's go ahead and set a key out here uh, for the character to, to run around the corner. Um, and so I'll do that, and then I will hit generate again. And you're generating this motion live right here. Uh, yeah, stage. this is, yeah, live inference. Uh, and so now we have our art directed performance. So with, with Motion Maker, it's super easy and fast to get very natural, complex motion uh, in just a few minutes. So how much time does this save? An artist, typically. Uh, well, I mean, this could save at least hours of work, especially when it comes down to art direction. So being able to respond to creative feedback, change the path, that is a major rework if you had to do all this by hand. So AI that keeps the artist focused on directing the scene, creating that kind of experience that makes the scene come to life. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Okay. Run, Andrew, run. Right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Lance. Congratulations on a successful demo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Motion Maker is not the only new AI feature in Maya. Soon, you'll be able to automatically generate animations of a character's face and lips. The technology learns how a character's face moves based on existing animated sequences of a show. Once that's done, you can simply feed it an audio file, and the animation gets generated for you. So let's try it. Let's see what that looks like. Finally, a voice to match my pixels. I told you I was more than just good lighting. Now I get to sound as sharp as I look. Not bad for a bunch of polygons, right? All right, straight from audio to character motion. It's an AI tools like Face Animator accelerate animation. And there are so many other things AI can do, particularly when MCP servers come into play. Here is what Autodesk Assistants could look like in Maya. Let's say you want to turn this scene from a dayscape into a nightscape. Done. Okay. 
or you want to manipulate your scene, move around objects, or even add them. Done, okay? The possibilities are endless. Thank <music> you.